Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Today, we are gonna go ahead and do a little showcase of the brand new Torch and Tail Bundle. As you can see right here, the Torch and Tail Upgrade, not Bundle, is available. Fast track your way to Torchwood and Hover Goat 3000 and accessing the doors in the Trials of Nomas with the Torch and Tail Upgrade. So basically, if you don't wanna go through all the Trials of Nomas stuff to get the Torchwood and Hover Goat, you can get this pack and be able to bypass all that stuff. Pick up the Torch and Tail Upgrade today and receive Torchwood, Hover Goat 3000, four Trials of Nomus Color Door Keys, Attack Consumables Pack, Defense Consumables Pack, 200 Regular Stars, and 50 Rainbow Stars. And, if it, and additionally, if you can get this before December 13th, users who own Torchwood and Hovergoat 3000 will get random costumes for each. Just one of each. We saw that in our previous video yesterday going over the entire new update. But yeah, I want to be checking this out. This will be through the perspectives of somebody who already has Torchwood and Hover Goat, so that's how I'll be explaining the value. Obviously, if you're willing to give however much money this is for Torchwood and Hover Goat, it's already worth it to you. But a lot of people have been asking me, is it worth it if you already have Torchwood and Hover Goat? And we're gonna find out today. So let's view our offer and figure things out. Um, I think it'll give us more information from the store page. We're gonna check this out as well. Uh, first off, we'll know the price, which is... 9.99, which is the usual price for a bundle. Go for glory with the torch and tail upgrade. For a limited time, pick up mega awesome characters, Torchwood and Hover Goat 3000, plus experience the Trials of Nomus with four door keys, get legendary consumables, rainbow stars, and stars. So yeah, let's go ahead and figure this out real fast and I'll check it out. Okay, so here we are back in the backyard. I had to restart my game. And even though it does say to view the offer, you can also tell that there is stuff in our sticker shop. So if you're not getting it right away, try resetting your game. That might be what you have to do. But yeah, once again, this will be through the perspective of somebody who already has Torchwood and Hover Goat. We already have all of the keys on this profile. Basically everything they're trying to give us, we already have. So it should just be giving us coins. But if you're looking through that perspective, is this worth $10 worth of coins? We're about to find out. So first we have the Trials of the Nomus keys, which I don't really understand the inclusion of anyways, because really you want to get all the Trials of Nomus done so that you can get the Torchwood and Hover Goat. A lot of people who don't want the keys probably, you know, like, we'll get this pack anyways, so I feel like it's a weird addition, but this pack contains the four colored keys that opens a door in Trial of Nomus. And there we go, let's go ahead and give it a shot. And it's just a bunch of coins, because we already have the keys. Ooh, and some rainbow stars as well. Okay, not bad. So it looks like in total we have one, two, three, four, five, so 50 rainbow stars right there, and then one, two, three, four. So it looks like 25,000 coins for each key. So 100,000 coins in total, not bad. And then we have the Torch and Tail Defender Pack. This pack contains pots and bots to help you defend your, your base. So this should be, like it said, plant pots, zombie bots. So this one, of course, won't give me coins because I can always use more of these. And nice, we got the legendaries as well. So one of each, or one set of each legendary. So we get 10 DJ Uplings, Golden Gatling Bots, Monk Choice, and Perfume Shrooms, which are all for the legendary bots and pots. Then we have like some super rares and rares and stuff. So we have the Goop Shroom, Bamboo Shoot, Uplink Bot, Hide and Shoot Bot, Rocket Bot, and P Gatling. Then we have the Torch and Tail Attack Pack. This pack contains consumables to help put you on the offensive. Okay, so let's check out this one as well. And it looks like we got some cool stuff going on. Uh, I mean, a lot of this stuff is tough to obtain. There are no legendary consumables when it comes to the weeds and the zombies, unfortunately, so you can only get at best super rares. So we got vase weed, heal weeds, porcelain vase weeds, karate zombie, heal zombie, outhouse zombie, leaf shield weeds, weed, wood shields, uh, screen door zombies, and newspaper zombies. I really appreciate the heal zombie because that's one of the best, and the heal weeds are they're very useful to have more of, so I appreciate that. And then we finally have the Hover Goat 3000 pack and the Torchwood pack, which you know, both contain what they say. So the Hover Goat 3000, let's see how many coins it gives us. 10 stars, so a bunch of stars, which it would have given us anyways. It said that, you know, before, but 250,000 coins, that already makes it pretty well worth it, 250. And then we have, I think, 100 stars here. And then we should be getting another 100 stars and another 250,000 coins out of this pack as well. So that looks like it's exactly what's happening. Not bad, so. So in total, that means we have gotten 600,000 coins. We've got the two 250s and then 100,000, so that's 600 in total. Let us go ahead and take a look at how much it would cost to get that much in total. It would take $20. So you're getting like a double deal, I guess. I mean, if you were to spend $10 normally, you would be getting 280,000 coins. So you're really getting $20 worth of coins for 10 and that's pretty worth it. Obviously, if you wanna get Hovergo and Torchwood without having to put in the week after week effort, because that's sort of the big thing. Getting Hovergo and Torchwood can be a total pain in the butt 
if you need to do that every week. So some people have been complaining, saying, hey, it takes out the difficulty of actually getting Hilfer Goat and Torchwood. Personally, I don't really care how other people get it as long as I get it the legitimate way. That's really all I care about. But I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you think it's total baloney that people can just buy their way into getting Hover Goat and Torchwood, or do you not really care? I would love to hear your opinions on it. But when it comes to, if you're looking to buy some coins right now, and you have $10 to spend, it would definitely be more worth to get the Torch and Tail upgrade than just to outright buy coins if you have everything already. And if not, hey, you were able to get more of that stuff. I don't think too many people really care about getting the keys at this point. The people who would care about it probably already have it. So I don't know if that's really too much of an issue for most people. I know that recently Garden Warfare 2 has been upwards to 80% off, I think, on the Origin store somewhere. So I mean, now if you haven't gotten Garden Warfare 2, I think now's a good time. Get Garden Warfare 2, spend the extra money you saved on getting the Torch and Tail upgrade. That sounds awesome. But yeah, we got plenty of other Garden Warfare 2 stuff coming up. I did want to talk about something real quick with you guys, if you don't mind. The last video I talked about doing a 3 million coin spending spree. A lot of you were actually letting me know that the new Hover Goat and Torchwood outfits aren't actually something you can get out of the packs. They're only sold by Rux, and unfortunately Rux is not selling them this week. Let's check to make sure. But I don't know why he wouldn't be selling any of them this week. It's a very weird decision, but... Yep, he's not selling any of them. Would you guys like me to hold out then? Should I not do the spending spree and just save my coins for the Hover Goat and Torchwood Ruck stuff? Or should I still go forward with the 3 million coin spending spree just doing a wondrous pack of greatness? Because that's really all I can do. Then I can do some Feast of His stuff, but I have most of it, so it's not that exciting. But the wondrous pack of greatness, I mean, I already have all of the legendary characters, so all I would be getting out of that are legendary hats at most, if I'm lucky. But I think I've already gotten those. All the legendary packs you can, or legendary hats you can get out of the wondrous pack of greatness so it might not be the most exciting thing i don't know you guys can let me know what your thoughts are on that maybe i shouldn't go forward with the three million coin spending spree but uh for now stay tuned i should have another episode coming up real soon where we go into the taco bandits game mode i'm so excited i think it's actually called capture the taco now but we'll talk about that more in the next episode of plants vs zombies garden warfare 2 if you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Torch. So, you've watched at the end, you are a Zebra Tassie viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.